I am part of the College of Bedbridge, which is part of the Barony of Windhaven. While we are part of the SCA, we're also a college org. We're a college org. And one of those tends to be a bit more strict than the other. And this is partly inspired by true events. There once lived a phoenix that traveled many, many places. From majestic oceans to rolling mountains, the phoenix saw many things and met many good gentles. But it was slowly approaching the end of its current life. It was compelled by its nature to return to its nesting place along the inlet of a long lake. The phoenix entered its nesting ground, entering through a blue bridge, suspended in the fog. Since he had last nested, the city had flourished in 500 years. It pulsed with life. The phoenix, with a song in his heart, knew it was home. But when he flew to his former nesting ground, he found that there were, was a new flock of phoenixes there. Normally, phoenixes are solitary creatures, but they will flock to, together near their nesting grounds. When our phoenix approached the flock, they seemed oddly hostile. Excuse me, he said. Is it alright if I nest here? The other phoenixes were much, much older and lived far more lives. Perhaps, if you meet our standards. Standards? What standards? I've nested here for years. We own this place. You must abide by our rules. Apparently things really had changed, our phoenix thought. The lead phoenix puffed his bright orange feathers to make him appear much, much larger. If you really want to build a nest here, it must meet our standards. So the phoenix began collecting scraps of wood for the nest that would soon become its funeral pyre. He searched all around the beautiful city by the bay for the perfect nest. By the time he built the crown of wood, he felt all of his 499 years. The flock of phoenixes came by and examined his work. Good, the leader muttered, but it needs a little bit more. So our phoenix went out again to collect more. Phoenixes enjoyed everything shiny but practical. He added strips of metal through the through the wood, the, through the twigs that burst like flashes of lightning. The leader came again. It still needs more. Becoming desperate, the phoenix added parts of science, the letters forming a poem in a long forgotten language, a language that the phoenix remembered like the puff of breath on a cold winter's morning. The lead phoenix came again, staring silently at the nest which glittered in the sun. Very well, the leader growled, puffing his feathers in annoyance. But our phoenix was overjoyed. He sat down in the middle of the nest, settling as a small fire flickered up through the wood and metal and plastic. The phoenix burned anew, bright, the bright blue bridge, the last thing it saw is it was sucked into the regenerating inferno. Thank you.